I was not paid by any company or government to make this video. I do not condone, support or promote the regime of North Korea in any manner whatsoever. Please do your own research. North Korea. North Korea. The propaganda. Kim Jong-un, his regime. Human rights. Prison camps. The ballistic missile. An auto warm beer. It was a moment for the history books. The f I am not a journalist. I am just some kid with a consumer camera who was lucky enough to gain access into the most isolated and controlled country in the world. This video series is a product of that. Good morning guys. What you are seeing is the view from my hotel room here in Pyongyang. You can see the leaders there, Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il. Today we are going on a road trip to the coast. I think we're going to check out maybe a temple and then a factory. Probably going to take about seven hours drive, so a lot of driving ahead of us. So without any further ado, let's head down and head to the coast. This statue here is called the Arch of Reunification and it's to symbolize one day hopefully the whole of the Korean Peninsula being reunited as one country. But we will stop here in another video in the series and check it out in more detail because as you can see it's absolutely epic and huge. 30 meters high or 98 feet. So as soon as we left the city we were struck with just how much farmland is in Korea. Basically every square inch of the country that I saw that wasn't mountains was covered with farmland. Mainly rice fields. We saw thousands of workers on the side of the road pretty much constantly between each destination that we traveled to in Korea. It was rice transplanting season when we were in North Korea so that's the busiest time for farming in the whole year so maybe that explains why there's so many people working. I was not expecting to see that much farmland. After a several hour drive we arrived at a Buddhist temple a pretty beautiful temple. If you're wondering about religion in North Korea, religion is highly monitored and only a select few are allowed to practice any kind of religion. If you're caught as a foreigner trying to spread religion in North Korea, you will get in deep trouble, which has happened to foreigners in the past. They check your bags at the airport to see if you're carrying any Bibles or any religious scriptures or anything like that. But some select few are allowed to practice religion in North Korea. After a tour of the temple, we listened to a meditation chant from a monk, which is always nice to hear. After the temple, we jumped back in the bus, continued driving. If you're wondering why some of the shots are extremely shaky, it's because the roads in North Korea are some of the worst roads that I've traveled on. Holes all throughout the roads. I did see many workers on the roads trying to repair them, but the current state is that they are pretty bad, to be honest with you. So please take my excuse for some of the shots being shaky because of the roads being so bad. We went through some big mountain tunnels. Pretty beautiful landscape in North Korea in general. So we've just been driving through the countryside as you saw there for a while. Now we've just arrived at a waterfall, but it should be nice to see some North Korean nature.
not expecting that. If you saw that in the photo, you wouldn't think North Korea, but incredible. Like the nature on the drive here was quite surprising. <laughs> just big mountain passes, huge tunnels and things. And I couldn't get much footage of it though because the roads were just so bumpy, but I think now we're going to go and have a picnic soon and then we're going to drive on to the beach and then stay at a hotel on the beach. So. Super surprising. So in 2001, Kim Jong-il actually visited this waterfall and it's kind of what made it famous and more of a tourist site. But apparently this building here was built for him, one of the guides told us, because there was no shade for him when he came. So just in case he ever came back, they built this building here for him just to uh, keep him out of the sun. After the waterfall, we had a little packed lunch with some veg sushi and uh, some potato tempura and some tofu and some spinach there. Absolutely delicious. Then we hit the road again. I'll play some just raw clips for you guys uh, so you can get a feeling what it's like just driving along the road in North Korea. Alright guys, so we've been on the bus for another three hours or so. Just arrived in this little village. See over here they've got a picture of a laptop and a surveillance system. Pretty interesting, but super relaxing out here. It's nothing like Pyongyang. Much more uh, raw and uh, yeah, really peaceful from what we've seen. You can see here some pictures of the leaders visiting the farms. Then we went into this little kind of shop market area thing. I'm not quite sure what this was about. Again, just everything perfectly stocked up. And lots of like plastic goods, plates, beer, oil, different kinds of dry goods, uh, toys, everything basically. But still, uh, these places kind of were really quite bizarre. I mean, we were allowed to buy things here if we wanted to, but I don't think anyone in the group bought anything here. So this is basically a little farming city kind of thing 4,000 residents that shop we just went into is where some of the things they make here but then obviously all that package stuff comes from other places um, but yeah over here are the apparently the farmers houses the apartments have a look and then some kids playing over here <laughs> apparently Kim Jong-il came here and helped set up the place. Kim Jong-il and the woman there, the mother Kim jong su She is the wife of President Kim Won-sa. So we've just arrived at the biggest fertilizer factory in the whole of the DPRK, North Korea. I'll explain more about it in the uh, voiceover. So this fertilizer factory was one of the highlights of the whole trip in North Korea. It was literally like going back in time. Just the people working here look like something straight out of a 1940s film. There's literally nothing to tell them apart from them being in the 21st century. So fascinating. I absolutely loved it. They make fertilizer for farms, so things like nitrogen and hydrogen mixed together for the rice fields, I believe. And inside the factory, it smelt really strong. Um, I'm not 100% sure what the health and safety was like there. Even spending, you know, five, 10 minutes in there was uh, enough to make you feel a bit dizzy. I'll show you a few clips of the workers in a second, but they were just going about their day normally. You can see all these old gauges and everything here. We had one of the employees of the factory show us around. I think he might have been one of the managers. I'm not 100% sure, but he was just so proud of this factory. He had a big smile from ear to ear and he just loved explaining all the parts of his factory. It was, it was really 
really humbling. Um, he seemed like a really nice guy. You can see the workers here. Sorry, it was quite dark in there, so some of the footage is a bit grainy, but it gives you a good idea of their clothing, and you can see they're using this old, old phone here. I think they were talking to the people in the level below just to make sure everything was going right. I'm, you know, I'm just speculating right now, but, you know, they were talking on the phone, running back and forward, you know, giving orders, and it was just like getting in a time machine. Going back to the early 20th century, it was... You know, I, I'm really struggling to convey my words right now, but something truly unique and uh, kind of a once in a lifetime experience. So we have come back from the factory and we have arrived in the accommodation for tonight. I'll show it to you in just a second. We're just by the beach here. I've got a room to myself tonight because uh, four people from the group went home last night because they were only here for a couple of days. So uh, I'll show you the bathroom situation. It's pretty interesting. Uh, and then we'll head down to the beach. We still got a bit of uh, sunlight hours before dinner. But yeah guys, like there's so much happening in these days, it's hard for me to keep track of what's really going on, so if I didn't have the camera recording and things, I'd be forgetting so much, so it's just cramming so much in. But, gotta make the most of the days we have here, so let's check out this room. Over here, we have a window. That looks out to the sea. And then, nice bed. And I've got a balcony out here. Looks out to the beach. We'll go down to the beach in just a second, but check out this bathroom. So, what we have is... We've got a bucket of water. And that's hot water. Warm water. And then we've got a bathtub full of water. That's cold water. That's hot water. Cold water. Not sure what to do with that. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's head down to the beach. Alright, guys, made it down to the beach. Just bought myself a Russian beer. Having like a little space is good because, uh, you know, it's not like crazy strict, but it's, you know, you're pretty much watched the whole time. Um, so, nice little private beach here. I'll show you some shots of this beach. And here's our dinner guys. I'll play a raw clip of one of the girls pouring the beer for us because you can just notice how quiet it is and you can hear the background music so it gives a good feeling for everything. It was an absolutely delicious dinner as per usual in Korea. We've had nothing but the best food. Alright guys, just had dinner, another huge spread of Korean food again, as per usual. Delicious, absolutely exhausted, great day, again, action-packed every day, like I said. I'm not going to go on too much, end the video here, and I'll see you tomorrow for whatever happens tomorrow. I'm not quite sure what's happening. We're going to do some cool stuff anyway. Highlight of today, the factory and the waterfall, definitely. The factory was incredible, it was like going back in time, it was wow. Anyway guys, I will see you in the next video. In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night from North Korea. Thanks for watching. Okay.